And so while when it reads a line, right? When it reads a line, well, basically we said we, line number was set to set to one, uh, one, right? But when we read a line, we check to see if that line is not empty. And when we are printing a line, let's print out a line number next to it, right? And so what we can do is this. We can pass in different arguments to the print function, right? So the first argument I'm going to pass is the line number here. Initially, it's going to be 1, right? So line number, and I have a comma here, and I have the line. By default, when you pass arguments to the print function this way, they are separated with a space, right? They are separated with a space. So we're going to have 1 here and a space, and then the... Um, the line right we'll fix we'll, we'll continue but the thing is when we're done and it reads another line right let's let's increase line number by one and so we set line number is equal to what's already stored in line number plus one in other words we are adding one to what's already stored in line number nine line number will be one and so when we add one to it it's going to be two store two in line number and then if it's able to read a line we print out two and then display it, and then we read another line, which is the third line, display, or basically I'll increase line number by another one. So line number will be two, two plus one is three. And then so basically we are increasing line number by one anytime we're able to read, anytime we're able to read something from a from from the file and it's not empty. Right? Let's test this. We also displaying that line number sheet. Let's just test this to see what's happening. So random stuff or txt, hit enter. And we can see that it's basically numbered. But the program said that the program should display the content of the file with each line preceded with line number followed by a colon. Okay, and so let's basically concatenate a colon to this line number. And we can do that by using the plus sign. Or, or actually, what we can do, no, let's, let's, let's use a plus sign to concatenate a colon, right, which is going to be a string. But the thing is, when you try to concatenate a, this string to this, number over here it's going to the program is going to complain and say that it cannot implicitly uh, it cannot you know in an implicit manner convert um, a, a string to a number or basically uh, you know it, it cannot do this it cannot do the conversion it cannot make sure these two are the same type it cannot do the conversion itself when I try to compile this right it's going to complain when I do let's say random stuff txt and hit enter. It's going to complain and say that you know basically it, it, basically it, it cannot because it's saying that you are trying to join a string to an integer over here, and it, it, it's going to it's complaining that it, it can't do that by itself. And so let's do that by ourselves. Let's make sure that this line number is converted to a string over here, and we can do that with a str 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 function and surround the line number. With the str function, we are converting this st line number to a string. It's still going to be displayed as a, as a number, but it's a string. And then we are concatenating a string to a string, so it shouldn't have a problem uh, concatenating a string to a string, right? It, it, it shouldn't have a problem doing that. And so now when we run this, type in random stuff txt, hit enter, and we can see that it has a line number with a colon and basically the line of the file. The line number should start at 1. We are starting at 1. The program should display the content of the file with each line preceded with line number followed by a colon. I think we, we, actually, we, we actually done. I think we've done it. So let's just change the content of the of these file. I can, let me just remove and leave only three lines in there. Remove this, save this, run this program again. I'm actually going to copy and paste the name of the file so I don't type it all the time. Random stuff. Or txt. Now let me copy this. I'm testing it. All right. Hit enter, and then you see it has only three lines. We can change the content of these to something else. Let's say, let's just type random stuff. Keep on going. We don't have to do anything. Save this, and let's run this program again. Type in the name of the file. I copied it, so I just pasted it. Hit enter, and now it, it basically displays all the line, lines in the file for us, but then line numbered. Okay, 
in the in the file itself the numbers are not there but in the program the way we, we've, we've written it it's displaying the numbers uh, sorry it's displaying the lines with, with line numbers in a column so it's working the only thing I like to do next is separate the please enter a name of a file and basically the output right I like to separate them with um, a new line or basically an empty uh, an empty line okay so um, this is where we're asking the user to enter the name of a file right after that let's do that there are basically a couple of ways to create that space right so right after the, if you call if you call the print function and you tell it to print out let's say something like this right when we when I run this after asking the name for the uh, name of the file and I hit let's say random stuff the TX and I hit enter it goes ahead and pr and, and prints out was that exactly what, what I told it to print you see but the thing is by default the print function always ends with a new line character right so it prints whatever you've told it to print which is this but it ends with a new line character meaning it moves the position from the end of the line to the beginning of the next line and anything that comes after that print function is displayed from this line going so by default the print function after printing what whatever you told it to print will move the position from where it's at here to the end of the line, from the end of that line to the next line and anything that comes after that print function will be displayed from on the next line going so if you call the print function and you pass in nothing you are still telling the program to print something in this case what you're telling it to print is nothing you've called the print function passing in nothing yet you're telling it to print not this right but to print nothing on this line and it will go ahead and print nothing on this line but by default the print function always ends with a new line character so after printing out nothing on this line it's still going to move the position from the end of the line to the beginning of the next line and so anything that comes after that print function that has nothing in there as an argument anything that comes after it will be displayed from that next line going so by in that sense when you call the print function and pass in nothing as an argument you're basically printing an empty line and anything that comes after that print function will be displayed from the next line of that empty line okay so when I run this paste the name of the of the text file hit enter we can see that after after the question or after the label telling the user to enter the name of the file we have a space here before the output before the output so that's one way to do it okay so let's just remove this go back to square one <laughs> back to where we're in I'll show you another way uh, actually you can actually actually this is fine this is fine for now um, because this is not really um, it's not really um, a print st uh, statement um, it, it's going to act a bit weird the other way I wanted to show you but this is fine so I'm just going to undo this make sure our prints function is there and that's going to basically have our new line okay so we're good we're good with this all right let's just change the content one more time remove everything type in that's just you know words cat dog um, ice cream toffee cookies all right this is enough um, run the program again paste in the name of the file hit enter and we can see that it lists all the items in the file numbered and actually this is the same idea that's used by this compiler oh sorry sorry this interpreter over here this IDE to actually line number exactly what we type here the program is actually dynamically doing that if I hit enter here you can see you can see that it's automatically putting line numbers there for us that's exactly what we're doing if I delete it you can see the line numbers are going away it's automatically displaying these line numbers and so we've done something similar to what the what this ID is actually doing so this is a really uh, good uh, thing to learn all right because it's 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 powerful okay if you have any questions okay please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them um, thank you very much for watching take care of yourselves have a good day have a good night have a sound sleep have a nice time and I'll see you next time with the next program Okay, bye-bye.